I'm Justin Mormuth alongside longtime CBS News space analyst Bill Harwood. And today we're going to be talking about the busy launch schedule that is on its way to our space coast. The first one happening today, this right. afternoon. Uh, it was scrubbed yesterday. What can you tell us about this launch? Well, they were worried about high winds initially, and so they actually pushed the launch time back about an hour, uh, hoping the winds would die down. But before they ever got that far, they ran into a problem with a component on the second stage of the rocket. So they had to lower it back down horizontal and make some repairs. Weather's looking better today, and they're optimistic they'll get off the ground. What's the payload? Uh, this is called GovSat-1. It's, a, it's an innovative communication satellite. It's owned and operated by SES, which is an international satellite operating company and the government of Luxembourg is going to provide military communications, very very uh, highly encrypted secure communications with a satellite that was built on a commercial basis. So it's kind of marrying uh, commercial satellite technology with the requirements of the military mm -hmm. and they're very hopeful this is a way down the road you can make these things cost less and still do just as good uh, a job for what you're trying to do. SpaceX, I, I, I can only assume and get in the minds of the people at SpaceX, the mission managers, that yes, this is very important and cost them a lot more money than the next one that's going to be lifting off. But a week from today, the SpaceX heavy, Falcon Heavy rocket, which is highly anticipated, right. a, a massive uh, test launch, if you will. Uh, what can you tell us about the, the next launch on next Tuesday, a week from today? The launch today is off the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, mm -hmm. Launch Complex 40. Uh, the Falcon Heavy is going off the historic pad 39A at the Kennedy Space Center. Uh, this is a, a massively powerful rocket. Uh, it's going to be the most powerful rocket launched since the days of the space shuttle, generating more than 5 million pounds of thrust. It's never flown before, so there's a lot of anticipation. Obviously, SpaceX hopes to use this rocket as an economical way to send payloads and perhaps even people mm -hmm. uh, to the moon or even beyond at some point. But of course, you've got to get past your first flight. You've got to make sure this system's going to work as they hope it will. And that's what the test flight is for. An awful lot of interest in this mission for sure. On board that test flight will be a Tesla $100,000 sports car. Uh, so not your traditional satellite or supplies no. to the International Space Station. But Elon Musk is Elon Musk, and he does what he, what he wants to do. It's his company. Um, they will also be, la we, we often see these landings of the boosters back at the Cape. Right. Uh, it's popular for SpaceX to do that, to refurbish these rockets and then reuse them. We're going to see that once again with next week's launch. Yeah, it's going to really be something. Um, you know, the, the, the core stage of this Falcon Heavy is made up of three Falcon 9 boosters strapped together. Mm -hmm. The two outside boosters have flown before, already made it back and been refurbished. The central booster is brand new. But during this launch, those two outside boosters will peel away once you're out of the lower atmosphere, turn around, fly back to the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, and they'll be landing basically side by side at landing zone one, coming down dual sonic booms. It is really going to be a sight to see. Now, while those guys are flying back, the central core stage is going to land downrange. It's going to come down on what they hope anyway, an offshore drone ship. Mm -hmm. So hopefully all three of these core stages get taken, recovered, and brought back. Uh, but seeing these two come down at the Cape side by side, hearing the roar of the engine, mm -hmm. the dual sonic booms, going to really be something to see. We're looking forward to it. It's going to be awesome. We hope that everything goes off without a hitch for sure. It's, it's going to be a historic launch. A lot of people heading out. Again, it is Tuesday, and we're going to have complete coverage for you here on News 6. It's a two-hour window, three-hour window. Three hours, I think. Three-ish right? hours. Um, so we hope you can join us for that, and it's going to be a great time. Uh, but, again, a launch today. Bill's going to be covering that one for uh, oh, yeah. CBS, and we appreciate you joining us on ClickOrlando.com. I just did a flashpoint with him, by the way. That airs Sunday at 8, so we hope to see you then. Have a good one.